Well, as we get closer to November, the debate over the Bush tax cuts keeps heating up. Republicans, of course, want to extend them for everyone. Democrats want to do it for everyone except those who make more than $250,000 a year. Well, Congressman Pete Sessions runs the House Republican Campaign Committee, and he spoke earlier this morning with Al Hunt about why he supports extending all of them. If you leave out the investor and the person who brings capital to the table, you cannot grow the economy and we will continue to have joblessness. So you would vote nay if given I, I, I cannot vote for and should not vote for a tax increase. Al Hunt joins me now from Washington. Um, so is uh, Congressman Sessions then differing from Mr. Boehner and what uh, the senator is looking for here? Well, they're trying to pull Mr. Boehner back, Margaret, uh, from his comment that if given a choice of only voting for the middle class tax cuts, he would not hold the uh, upper tier tax cuts uh, as, 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 as hostage, and he would vote to extend the tax cuts for the middle class. Uh, Pete Sessions uh, uh, says no. He says uh, they, we will not vote for any tax cuts unless they include the tax cuts for the wealthy. Hmm. Well, I... Um it's interesting because this this brings us as well to the conversation uh, whenever you look at the Republican Party right now of the other conservative movement out there, the Tea Party itself. Did, did you go down that road about uh, whether the Tea Party will hurt the GOP's chances in November? I think Chairman Sessions, he heads the Republican Congressional Campaign Committee, and there hasn't been as much of a focus on Tea Party candidates uh, who are going to be uh, running for the House this fall as there have been senators uh, like Christine O'Donnell, who won in um, uh, Delaware this week, and Sharon Angle and Rand Paul and Ken Buck in Colorado. But there are a number of Tea Party types who are going to be House candidates. Uh, I think they believe they're going to supply energy uh, for the party. They're going to help in uh, in November. November, and Pete Sessions does not think he has a Tea Party problem as far as House, as far as Republicans winning the House November too. He has a Tea Party opportunity. Hmm. Well, it, it is interesting to see in the New York Times today that piece about uh, the people in the middle, not the people on the extremes, not the, the Tea Party or you know uh, the, the the counter there. I guess uh, in people who feel uh, far more liberal in their viewpoints. And this idea that Stephen Colbert and Jon Stewart are actually going to stage a moderate rally, I, you've got to listen to this, this soundbite out. We will gather. We will gather on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., a million moderate march where we take to the streets to send a message to our leaders and our national media that says, we are here. We're only here, though, until 6 because we have a sitter. I, and apparently, Stewart said they were going to have signs that say, I disagree with you, but I'm pretty sure you're not Hitler. Like some very, very <laughs> moderate tones, messages here. Take it down a notch, a sort of a polite suggestion uh, to political <laughs> leadership right now. I mean, obviously the counter and, and the uh, thing they're poking at is that Glenn Beck rally. But it, right. is he really tapping into some truth here, something that might resonate on a broader political scale? I think he may be, Margaret. Uh, I've covered scores of rallies and demonstrations in Washington. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to the one on October 30, uh, not because of the point of view, but because it's going to be fun. Imagine John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. And humor can be the most effective weapon uh, against anger, which is what the Glenn Beck rally uh, was playing to. And I, I don't know what it will produce as the way, you know, as far as uh, numbers of people attending or what kind of uh, political resonance they'll be, but I'll guarantee this, it'll be a lot more fun than any rally we've seen in a long time, and it just might have an effect. Yeah, well, anger is a great motivating factor. We wonder if being, being moderate really gets people to take to the streets, but I, I want to go with you to that, Al, uh, in, in, at the end of the month. It, it, it's a date, Margaret. It's a date. <laughs> What's in your notebook? What should we all be watching? Well, we're, you know, we're looking right now at the uh, Elizabeth Warren nomination, which the president is going to uh, trot out today. I actually think the White House has done this one pretty well because they walk that line. They have Elizabeth Warren there pleasing the activists. On the other hand, it's not a, uh, a, a spot that has to be confirmed by the Senate, so there won't be a full-fledged flight fight. They won't get industry as agitated as before. So I think in a way, as Juliana Goldman uh, said earlier, and she knows more about this than I do, they're, they're having their cake and eating it too on this one. Hmm. 
Well, we will see. We already heard from the banks. They're not so happy about it, but uh, more, to, more to chat about on that front. Thank you very much, Al.